Well, it has been some time ago that we had a beautiful dressage in Rotterdam. I think it was about two years ago, in 2019. I see some familiar faces behind the table today. Um, let's start with, uh, with Isabel. You're bringing a black horse this year? For a reason, or...? <laughs> Yeah, for a reason. Uh, the red one was uh, competing last week, so, uh, so I took the, 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 the black one. Uh, but yeah, it was uh, the, the, the decision was that uh, we wanted to compete once again with, uh, with Bayer. Um, her last competition was uh, in Mannheim, so it was time to compete once, uh, just in case. Um, uh, and then we, now we prepare for the Tokyo and uh, for the canteen, so it was which is uh, the one behind the radar and the uh, and the surface issues are that it was good to put two of all of them uh, quite uh, uh, together. Yeah. Yeah. And what about your test today? I saw some lines and some good marks uh, for your passage PF. Oh, that's good. <laughs> no, I was, I was really pleased. There was just a misunderstanding before the one ten piece. Um, I was a little bit too much backwards and uh, she was uh, there was a misunderstanding to start, or when to start into the one time piece. Uh, the one time piece were without a mistake, but it was uh, the fault was at the beginning that she came uh, after my, my end. But uh, um, that was my fault and not hers. And, um, and the rest was uh, really nice, I have to say. The, uh, very um, safe and, and routine and, uh, and a very good pied massage, uh, like most of the time with her and the transition. So I was how does it? <coughs> Did you do a lot of uh, um, competitions the last few months, or how was your last 18 months? But, uh, yeah, it was more or less the same like uh, all of us. Uh, we had uh, for for long term we had no competitions or just a few, and then uh, last year it was maybe five instead of 30, uh, something like this. And, and this year, uh, yeah, we had uh, not so many, but, but anyway, we had a few. And uh, especially now, the, from, from May, the auto season started with, with more competitions. And um, so I think now we, all of us, we have the chance to compete a few times with the horses uh, to be prepared for Tokyo and to be yeah, hopefully qualified. Okay, thank you. The number second, Hans Peter. Um, you told us last week that Rotterdam was the place where you did your personal record with uh, Johnson. Yeah. What today? Uh, today it was not the not the personal. Not, yeah, I think with this horse. Uh, uh, I think with this horse, uh, yes. And I was um, I was really happy uh, with the test. I had uh, one small mistake in the tombs, and for the rest he was super uh, uh, fresh and happy and concentrated and. I could really ride him the way I want him, want her to ride him. So uh, yeah, I was super pleased with it. And important for you to ride for the horses, or for, for the judges who will be in Tokyo as well? Of course, it's always nice if you do your last competition before a big championships, and you have the judges who are who are judging over there. It's it's better to do a good test than uh, than not, of course. Okay, so you're <coughs> pleased with them? Yeah, very. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, going to Marlies. Um, compared to a few weeks ago at the uh, the uh, <coughs> championships, I think there was a lot of progress again uh, today. Uh, yeah, I think so too. My horse is still quite young, not that experienced yet, and he's still progressing a lot in the training and also in competition. So I was also very happy. Mm -hmm. And dreaming about Tokyo a little bit now. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's move to uh, Alex. Is your life easier after <laughs> today? <laughs> yeah, quite a bit. But uh, still, uh, I have some small things I have to uh, think of, and uh, before I I go and say who is going or not or uh, which place. So uh, I think uh, one day more, and then I know for sure how to do it. Okay, you got two days, no? <laughs> How is it for you? Because it was, 
at a different time as well as a, as a chef de gig to make your choices uh, while you're not seeing the writers a lot? No, true. Um, the, the second difficulty is that, uh, that most of the horses are quite young, inexperienced, and uh, that makes it double hard because from the people who know that they, they can uh, control their nerves and there's a big competition, they are used to, uh, to, to have some pressure. But uh, the young horses, it's much more difficult. How, how are they traveling? Because it's a, it's a big trip. How are they, uh, when, they when they are there, eh? are they stable? Can you just uh, work them? So that's a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, how do you call this in English? Question marks. Question marks. <laughs> so you, you have to make a little bit the gamble. And, um, yeah, and also, if, uh, because of the COVID, it's uh, really not simple to, uh, to figure out where everybody is standing. Yeah. But uh, I think in the, in the past, uh, in the past few months, we did a lot of uh, team training. In the moments, it was possible to do it in the national center. We did it there, and otherwise, I went to people's home. So uh, you have a lot of inf information, but in the end, the competition in the ring there, it has to happen, and not uh, at home. A uh, question to any of the riders. Um, today was, I mean, you, you did some competitions, but not a lot of competitions with spectators or with the full ambience, I think. Is that different? I mean, for us, this is different than usual CHAOs. How, how important is that when you do your test? The surrounding and the stadium? Well, of course, it's nice if you have a, a big audience, but I must say, here today, it didn't really feel like an empty arena or something. So uh, I think the arena looks super nice and um, maybe there are not so much people than normal, but... Uh, and they will be there on Saturday evening, okay. a little bit more than uh, they did look this morning. Yeah, but they made it so beautiful yeah. here, it's a, it's yeah. like, a, like a really little stadium and it's, uh, you feel, you don't feel it's empty. Okay. No, and I think also for all the ride is super important because we had some competition, but that's mm -hmm. somewhere in an... Uh, in a very quiet facility, and now it's really a stadium. It's, yeah, it's yeah. more about what you yeah. what you want to, to, more to train with the horses. More atmosphere. Any questions from the audience to the riders? When will you announce the team? When exactly will you announce the team? Um, <laughs> I go uh, and talk with uh, with uh, manager Top Sport, and then. Um, we make the decisions later this week. I cannot, I cannot tell which which moment, but uh, it has to happen this week anyway. So, <laughs> so on Monday, everything needs to be clear. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Because there were only three judges instead of five judges. You said, uh, well, in, in relation to the competition tomorrow, the judges of E, C, and M are the, uh, the important ones. If I looked at the results of uh, those three judges today, then I see that uh, Malice uh, scored 75.14%, and Dinya scored 73.66%. So, Maris was higher ranked by those three judges as uh, as uh, Dinya. Does that have some influence on, 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 on your mind or not at all? Um, first of all, an observation, that's why we call it observation, is, uh, is an important moment that I can compare people with uh, each other. Uh, I, if, uh, I wouldn't be, uh, they didn't need me if, if I would go just for results. I have to make decisions on what I think are the best, um, the best people in the best places so that I have my whatever you, you can uh, go, but that you get the best results. Okay, but if I go back to, and I, if I count the results of the Dutch championships and I take the results of today from both competitors, then it's also going to be in the league. So does that matter or not at all? Could be. Yeah, okay. it is true. Yeah. I mean, Malis uh, scored today and on the Dutch Championships 75.10 and Dinja 74.75, so... Okay. 
But still, but still, it's an observation. It's not uh, uh, a matter of counting. Only counting. That's, uh, that's it. Yeah. Any other questions? Then I would say thank you to the writers and to Alex, and we love to see you again on Saturday. Thank you.